this is where my mother went to high school. Early 1950s, late 1940s. It's long since become some kind of condo or something. It's probably had a few different makeovers since it stopped being a high school. But in many ways, the neighborhood has not changed much in all those passing decades. Just superficial stuff. This is Route 28 and it eventually goes all the way up to Redding and further. It's a very old road. This direction takes you all the way to the Cape. And I believe this honor roll memorial was here when mom went to school. Seems to be involving World War One. They refer to it as the World War. Medford was a little mini city, Boston bedroom community. My mother was there, and that's what it is still, except that it's gotten to be a lot more valuable. This larger wing of the high school has evidently become a theater, the Chevalier. And note the old Victorian and all the detail. Medford was a shipbuilding town in its day. And this is the post office. Same as it's been for years. And this would be the walk my mother would probably take going home from school back in the day. We're right in the edge of Medford Center. So this is the core of downtown Medford. There is the high school, the center of town. It's defining sense of place. I remember it coming through here many times, going back to my earliest years. This is the old Yankee graveyard that might constitute the epicenter of Medford. It's right in the center. There's the tr bus transit station right there. And most of these grave styles made of slate are like f first period, 16 to 1700s. So they go back quite a ways. This is most likely where the little town of Medford began. Ooh, they even provide handy little brochures, which we'll examine later. What is its official term? The Salem Street Burial Ground. A little park adjoins. This street heads towards Malden, Medford's cousin. And there you have the principal bus stop. This particular section of the street is lined with small businesses offering some sort of food or another, and is the most likely place you'd look to get breakfast. This is 
dubbed as Clipper Ship Park and probably connects to the Mystic River Basin down where it broadens out near the Earhart Dam. Amelia Earhart used to fly around these parts. I seem to recall she hung out with my Aunt Blanche, but I don't know if that's just a family legend. It's called Clipper Ship Park because this is where they built boats. Medford was a shipbuilding town. And what you see through here is the Mystic River, which we're going to be examining in some detail over the course of the day. Now, in pursuit of that, we'll start heading a little west. And this is old Medford along the water, much as it's looked probably since the Imperial era of the late 1880s. There's the overpass. This looks down towards the mouth of the Mystic and I'll explore it in a future visit. For now, I think the aim is to go down along the walkway here and see what there is. So this is our walkway. Funny little old bridge to prohibit boats. I guess they're allowed one channel. Cool old stonework. And we got a couple of candidates. Kind of waddling. Wow. Yeah, I should get that stonework. That's great. Well, all the Canadas have goslings. Look out. Okay, what are you doofuses up to? <laughs> Make way for ducklings, you're saying? <laughs> it's that time of year, I know. The mallards were at it in Mount Auburn yesterday. <clears throat> and you guys start earlier. <laughs> They're finding forage in the brush. The goose ambled along. Geese, actually, complete with several goslings. And so this is probably a principal part of this little bikeway thing. Identifying stormwater outfall. I bet you this is the bridge I used to walk across with my mother and my grandmother when we'd make little excursions from the house into downtown. It's still the same bridge as best as I can tell and it is a little marvel. I imagine it's a significant notable feature of the place. And here's some more kind of disheveled Massachusetts Grover's Norquist disease. This is a nice little platform for people to have picnics. I seem to recall, I may have an ancient photo of an unidentified relative from my mother's wedding day sitting right down here because the house isn't far away. But that was another time when they actually took care of stuff. That was before you had fat little rich weasels like Grover Norquist whining about government. But yeah, I believe my mother was here on her ill-fated wedding, wedding day. And the mystic's sort of clean now. I heard it was having problems with invasive water chestnuts. 
I'm almost certain this was the spot. It has a resonance. This was an old guard armory, long since repurposed as Yuppie condos. Probably a speculator's windfall. This eventually goes up to Winchester and out to West Medford. I'm heading back to the river though.